Hello, my name is Vic and welcome back to another Shotcut tutorial. In today's video, we're going to focus on some performance improvements because I've noticed that while I'm using Shotcut on my Mac, that there are some performance issues. Now, I don't know if this is just me or if this is across the board, but today I'm going to go over some tips on some things that you can try that will maybe help improve the performance of Shotcut on your computer. So I've opened up Shotcut here and just a quick version check. We're using version 21.02.27. Now I don't really have any issues editing with Shotcut using 1080p video, but using 4K, I really start to struggle with it. So I'm gonna bring in a 4K video clip here. And I'll just drag this down into my timeline. Now playing it is fine. So it plays pretty smooth. You can see there's quite a bit of detailing here, but let's see what happens when I start to scrub. So scrubbing through the video, it's a bit jumpy and it's not very, it's not a very good experience. So one of the things that you can do is you can go to settings and then we can turn down the previous scaling. So let's just see if anything improves if we turn it down to 720p. So it'll tell you that previous scaling is on, it's at 720p. It doesn't really affect our quality that much, so that's great, but let's see. I don't really think there's a bit of improvement even with the previous scaling on. So let's try something else. So we can go to settings, and you do preview scaling and down to 360p. So the quality suffers. It's a little bit more responsive, slightly, but it could just be me. So that's one thing. Uh, in my case, it didn't really help. So what I'll try next is I can try working with a proxy. So same thing, go to settings, proxy, use proxy. It's gonna give me a message. Do I want to create missing pro proxies? Yes. Um, I'm just gonna click no. I'm not gonna reopen it. And it says here that's already created a proxy for me. So there's already a note here, it says it's proxy. And you get a no uh, notification here that says proxy and previous scaling are on at 360p. So we've combined proxy and previous scaling actually. So with the proxy on, that is performing a lot better. There's still a few jumps here and there, but that really has improved the performance quite a bit. So those are the two things that you can try to see if it will improve your experience. Uh, you can experiment with combining either or. So at the moment, we've got previous scaling that's also on. Let's just try to turn that off. So previous scaling at none. So the proxy is on, so the quality is bumped down to 540p, so you'll notice a dip in the quality. But don't worry, when you export your final video, it's not going to look like that. It's going to be the full quality, okay? So you can also turn off the proxy, say if some details that you want to check. So you go to settings, use proxy, you turn that off, and the quality will return back to normal. Those are a couple of things that you can try. There's another thing that I notice as well during playback. So let's just go over this. Say I'm all right, I'll put up with the bumpy scrubbing and let's try to add a filter. So I'm just gonna add a simple filter here. I'm gonna do size, size position rotate. One of the most useful filters that you have. And let's just apply a very basic zoom. So I'm just zooming in 10%. And let's see how that affects our playback. And as you can see, our playback is struggling. So it's really bumpy and it's not as smooth as it would have been. Like let's say if we turn this off, let me play that, see, very smooth. But when we apply the effect, it's gonna struggle. On my computer, what I noticed is if I go to settings and if I check this real time, I know it says frame dropping, but when I play this with the effect on, it's gonna start a bit bumpy and then speed up. 
and perform a little bit better. So I'm happier with that compared to having to wait for something very slow like this. So wait a couple of seconds and I think the processor kicks in and then you get a better playback experience. So that's another thing that you can try. Let's see here. The scrubbing is not that great. But then again, we can address that with turning on some of the settings here. So the proxy, like we talked about before. So let's just try that. Let's turn on the proxy again. This is with the effect. It improves a bit. It's not as smooth or frame by frame as I would have loved it to be. Lastly, and we can do this outside of Shotcut. So I'm on a Mac. So if you're on a Mac, you can go to Applications, look for the Shotcut app. You can right click, Get Info, and you can try running the program in low resolution. Sometimes I notice that with some programs it helps, sometimes not. In this case, it might help, you know, just to run it in a lower resolution. That means it's taking up less memory to render, you know, the interface in higher resolution. If your eyes can put up with it, those are the things that you can try. Anyway, just a short video today for some tips and we'll move forward with the next series of videos with teaching you more about Shotcut. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.